Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. I am done with today's project, but I'm back recording an intro right now because I gotta say, this went as good as I could have hoped. It's amazing. So I just wanna say, if you're a firewood cutter and you're, especially if you're getting older like me, do this. And now here's the intro that I recorded before the project and the rest of the project as follows. Enjoy. Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. I've got a lot of my firewood done for the year well as much as i'll need but plus i'm trying i have some extra logs that i'm trying to take care of so you can see all the wood in the background here i've got several cords there i've got more over here i've got this wood to do and you don't see in the background the piles there or the logs over the hill but i i'm hoping to basically get most of this split this weekend and stacked up but uh uh, I love using the splitter. It's it's a fantastic thing, especially for the bigger logs. Actually, also the splitter is wonderful for the firewood bundles, logs. I like to make them smaller, and so instead of chasing them and standing them up with an axe over and over again, I can pop several pieces and make a little bit smaller. But one thing that I'm tired of, you know, I'm turning 55 in just a couple months here. I'm tired of kneeling on the ground or bending over a whole lot. So today, since I have access to an excavator. I'm going to dig a trench, uh, hopefully about waist deep, and I'm going to stand in that, and I'm going to roll the logs over and split them and see if, I could, if this is a much more pleasurable experience, splitting all these logs standing upright. Uh, I'll need to make sure that I don't get so low that they're splitting and popping in my face, but I think that uh, this may end up being uh, very beneficial. Now, I know not everybody has an excavator to dig, dig a hole, but uh, if you're someone that does wood over and over again, it might be beneficial to uh, have something like a loading dock so your uh, firewood splitter is up higher, about waist high at the bottom of it, and then you can just roll logs in and out. But uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, I honestly haven't tried this yet. And uh, I'll s when I'm done, we'll say the good and the bad and see what happened. Okay, so let's see what we've accomplished here. I've got an easy slope to walk down on this side. I've got about 32 inches, about 30 inches to the plate that the wood's gonna sit on. And then I can easily reach my lever, my control levers, and uh, we'll give her a go. Okay, my initial reaction, uh, just a few thoughts after I've done just a couple rounds. Uh, first of all, that pile of dirt right there that I piled up against my wood pile, some of that's going into the wood pile, and that's not gonna help my wood cure. But if I was actually gonna use, do this permanently and set up a permanent site, I would dig the trench, put the splitter on there, clear the dirt out, and then I would start splitting the wood. Uh, you may have noticed I had several rounds stacked right next to the splitter, so I could just grab it while I'm in the trench, pivot, and put it on there. 
Uh, I'm loving how it's working. I'm not bending over. I don't have my knee uh, stuck in some gravel or some chunks of wood that hurts. And uh, in my advanced age, not that I'm old yet, but uh, turning 55 soon, I'm, I'm happy to not be bending over nearly as much. So things are going really well. Uh, you may have noticed that I've the wood that I've split already, I'm splitting pretty small. It's smaller than I would put in my personal stove, but I also have a firewood stand that I sell uh, bundles for a campfire, and they like the uh, pieces a little bit smaller, or it seems to be that way. So uh, I'm cutting, I'm splitting these up a little bit smaller. Uh, the one thing that I do have to do that I didn't have to do before is, you know, sometimes when it splits and the logs are falling, I have to kind of belly up against it to keep it from falling in the ditch, or I have to bend over and get it out of the ditch. But other than that, things are going really well. I'm really liking it. Let's continue on. Okay, I've done a, a few more logs and I'm, I'm still loving this. Uh, getting in and out of the ditch is probably just as easy as standing up when you're on the ground. Uh, the one negative that I've had is I'm wearing tennis shoes today because I've been having some foot problems and my feet feel better in my tennis shoes than my boots. I did have a log fall off the splitter and land on my foot. Fortunately, it was a small one. I wouldn't say it hurt, but it wasn't comfortable. If it had been a big log and hit in the wrong spot, it might have hurt my foot more. But other than that, things are going really good. Okay, here's another stop and pause update. When uh, I first did this, I tried to stack wood close up on end, so I just had to slide it in there nice and neat. Uh, I found I don't need to do that. Just throw stuff close enough that you can reach it from the pit, like I'm doing here and uh, everything will work out. Okay, one thing that I have noticed has happened that wasn't according to plan is as I walk in and out, I've pushed a little dirt in there. There's a lot of bark and everything. This plate was probably right about here when I started the job and now I've, I've probably added five inches of dirt and uh, bark. But uh, that, that's easy to clean out. Well, there you have it, folks. I am done, and I gotta tell you, I am pumped. That went as good as I could have hoped. Uh, I'm done with all the firewood that I had stacked here, and I can tell you when I did the same amount of wood the other day, and I was kneeling on the ground, my knees were hurting, my back was hurting and whatnot. My body feels so much better having uh, you dug this trench, it was about 30 inches deep, and stood in this and moved the logs, you can see. A lot of the wood here, you can't see the depth of the pile back behind me, but uh, it went fantastic. And so I have another stack of logs over there. I've been bringing logs over here and cutting them, but uh, this is as much space as I can use up here. In this area, I'm gonna put a roof over this, and then uh, I need to put the other logs over there. So I'm gonna move the splitter up there. I am gonna dig a ditch again and stand in the hole as I split all of it and stack it over there. Uh, the one thing that you might uh, want to do a little different, if you're going to split, you know, I know a lot of you that do a lot of firewood likes to put them in totes or on pallets and move them. You know, uh, design a way so that you could have a pallet uh, sitting right here, can load it up and then lift it and get it out of there or a tote. That would be really beneficial. The one thing that you can't do real easily here is uh, you can't see the depth on the video right now, but this firewood pile is uh, 12 feet this way and about 20 feet that way. 
And what we did at the start is the splitter was down there and we split and then stacked a row, two rows, and then we moved the splitter up and then we stacked two rows. So the splitter and the logs were always right where we wanted to stack. So if you set up like this, you won't be able to do it exactly like that. But if you have, uh, you know, tractor buckets to throw it into, pallets to set it on and move it or whatever, this is the way to go. This was fantastic. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching, cleaning, and horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects like this firewood are my passion. Hope to see you again soon, everyone. Be blessed.